Now here is an improvement. As you can see, it only takes two Arduino pins now. The circuit has changed a bit, it's now exactly the same on D plus and D minus, so 1.5k to ground and 10k to 5 volt. Each middle point of these dividers is connected to one USB data pin, but also through a 470 ohm resistor to an Arduino pin. So when one of these Arduino pins is an input in high impedance, it has no effect and the divider, as it is, outputs 0.6 volt. When an Arduino pin outputs high voltage, it pulls the USB D plus or D minus up to 3.3 volt or above, and when it outputs a low voltage, it pulls the USB data down to below 0.3 volt. The software is a bit different from the previous test. After setting the voltage to 12 volt in setup, the loop sets it to 9 volt, 5 volt in QC2 mode, then 6 volt and 10 decrements of 200 millivolt to reach 4 volt in QC3 mode, and back to 12 volt in discrete mode. So let's test that, reset, plugging in, and here we go, 12, 9, 5, 6, 4, back to 12, 9, 5, etc. So handshake works, and QC2 as well as QC3 modes work perfectly. You can see here the pulses when increasing or decreasing the voltage by 200 millivolt steps in continuous QC3 mode. Let's perform the same test with the cheap QC3 charger. And apart from the noise, we get a similar trace with both QC2 and QC3 modes. One can notice though that the descending slope is not as steep as with the anchor charger because the output capacitor discharge circuit is worse in the cheap charger. So in conclusion, this means you can control a QC3 charger as easily as a QC2 one and all it takes is one more resistor. Thanks for watching.